Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruthie and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be filming, as you can tell by the title of this video, an updated um, sausage and potatoes recipe. Um, but I wanna go back to like another traditional sausage and potatoes recipe, but it's going to be less than $5. As we all know, food prices are outrageous. Outrageous. So I've been trying really hard to come up with some really inexpensive meals to add to my meal plan. We still add in like expensive things here and there, but as a whole, I've been trying to budget my meals. Uh, we are a family of four. My kids are two and four, and then me and my husband. And you know, we have to pretty much cook dinner almost every night. Some dinners will stretch us out to two meals, which will be really nice. Like the sausage and potatoes recipe will be tonight's dinner and then also tomorrow night's dinner, which is amazing. Um, obviously, depending on your family size and how much you know your family eats, you may need to double the recipe, which is fine. You'll still be relatively um, inexpensive. Um, so what I try to do no matter what when I grocery shop is to look at the sales. So this week for me, I have a Kroger next to me, which I love Kroger. I a huge five pound bag of um, rustic potatoes. This is the Kroger brand and it was on sale for, I forget. So these potatoes are on sale for $1.79 this week for a five pound bag, which is amazing. You can get one or two meals out of this. Um, I'm probably only gonna use like half the bag for this one recipe. I use, so I've used half the bag for this one recipe. That's like 89 cents or something like that for one meal which is amazing. Um, so we're gonna use half a bag of rustic potatoes for this recipe. And then also, my sausage, my sausage was on sale for $2.49 this week, which is the reason why I was like, you know what? Potatoes are on sale this week, sausage is on sale this week, let's do sausage and potatoes in the crock pot. It's easy, it's hearty, it's a meal that like everyone likes. Um, you can change up the flavors, change up the seasonings to your likings, you can add vegetables, um, whatever you like. I've added carrots, I've added peppers, um, you can add anything you want, um, but for this meal, to keep it under $5, we're only going to do the sausage and potatoes. And also, I have just actually half of a yellow onion right now, um, and the yellow onions were, I think, $0.40 cents each, so this ends up being only $0.20 cents since I'm using half of it. Um, I'm just going to chop it really finely. My kids hate when onions are in food. Me and my husband love onions, so I'm just gonna chop it up finely so my kids don't really see it in the food. And so half an onion would be perfect. And then we're just gonna go in, um, you can use like chicken broth, vegetable broth, beef broth, whatever you like, bone broth. Um, I actually don't have any on hand. So I'm actually gonna use a bouillon cube with some hot water, like just one cup of hot water. I may use two cups depending on my potatoes. Um, I got these actually at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're instant bouillon cubes, chicken flavored. Um, there's 25 in here for a dollar, so they're like four cents each, so cheap. Um, and then obviously just some seasonings that I'm using today are going to be Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and then to change it up, I'm going to actually toss in this Tuscan style um, trattoria. I don't know. It's an Italian style herbs with hints of citrus, garlic, and onion. This is delicious. It's so simple truth. Um, so it is kind of pricey, but you can use any kind of like Tuscan style seasoning or eliminate it, like you don't even have to use it. Um, but I'm gonna add this to kind of give it a little extra kick. Um, and this is what we're gonna do. So it's really simple, really easy. Sometimes I feel like crockpot meals look like mush and it may not be appetizing to some people, but it still tastes really good. So give it a chance. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chop all of this up and throw it into our crock pot. Okay, you guys, so I have half of the bag of potatoes. I wash them um, and like, clean them <laughs> um but i'm actually gonna keep the, the peel on the potatoes i feel like it adds so much flavor and it's actually really nutritional for you um a lot of people don't know that but the potato skin is actually really good for you so we're just gonna chop this up really small and toss it into our crock pot and then we're gonna um, chop up the sausage pretty small too um and then chop up the onion and then i have actually i said one cup earlier but two cups of hot water and I'm just going to add this bouillon cube into the water and let that kind of soak up to make us some broth.
well incorporated. I feel like the biggest thing with crock pot meals is making sure you have enough seasoning because sometimes crock pot meals can get really bland. Um, so giving it just like a good mix. I, um, I rarely cook with salt just because I feel like a lot of seasonings have salt already in it and it's really not good for you. So I usually just like, like salt to taste like afterwards. Um, so you can add salt if you know you're going to put salt on it. I don't like salt. So, um, yeah, we're going to put our cap on and then I'm going to cook this actually on high for about, sorry, not high. I'm going to cook it on low for about six hours. Um, just because the sausage is already cooked. We're just pretty much cooking the potatoes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let this cook on low for six hours. And then um, when you serve it, you can serve it just as is with like a side of veggies. Um, you can top with some cheese for like the last like 30 minutes and let it kind of melt in. Love doing that because it tastes so good. Um, but for today, we're just doing simple sausage and potatoes and keeping it really, really basic. Spicy. No, this one isn't spicy, honey. This one's good. Um, so yeah, we are going to cook this on low and then I'll see you guys when it's done. So this is what our sausage and potatoes are looking like. Um, you can tell that it's done because the potatoes are nice and soft. Um, it smells so yummy. So again, like I said before, you can top this with cheese if you wanted to um, and let it cook for a few more minutes. Um, we're going to eat it just like this. Definitely. I'm probably not even going to make a veggie tonight um, because that's the kind of mom I want to be tonight. I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys try this recipe, let me know. Um, feel free to switch it up as much as you want to or need to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!